everyone welcome to wish problem so in this video we are looking at gaseous state class 9 chemistry goal 1 states of matter so let's begin so what is state of matter the state of matter refers to its nature or appearance now we will see the types of force of attraction in different states of matter so first we will look at gaseous state very weak and practically the molecules move almost independently to its neighbors now we will see the explanation now they are saying that now think this is one box okay practically the molecules move so think these are molecules they move to their neighbors think this this these people are neighbors so they are moving towards their neighbors so these are molecules which are moving towards towards their neighbors so this is called as gaseous state now we will see liquid state they have vernaval force of considerable strength or h bonds so in liquid state they are saying that they have the force which are considerable strength which are considered and they are called as h bonds now we will see about solid state okay the force are strong okay they are strong and they have been like bonds like ionic covalent metallic bonds or even h bonds sometimes are strong vernacular force now here they are telling that here they are explaining that they are strong okay and also they contain the ionic covalent and meta, uh, metallic bonds and h bonds also here sometimes oh, we saw right in uh, that liquid this force also is strong in solid state okay now we will see the note okay now we will see about note physical properties and physical states are not chemical property so now they are saying that the strength of this force changes the physical state and chemical sorry physical state and physical properties but they are not chemical properties okay now here we can see important characteristics of gaseous state very weak intermolecular so now here the gaseous state contains very weak intermolecular forces of attraction this is first point here it explains about the intermolecules are weak second point generally all the gases are made up of non metallic elements however vapors of metals may also be obtained under suitable conditions now they are explaining about non metallic elements that gases are made up of and the vapor of metals may also be obtained under suitable conditions now we will see gas molecules have simple molecular formula so they are low molecular weights now here they are explaining that they will have a simple molecular formula but there will be a low molecular weight now here we see that they do not pose definite volume and 
so the volume of gas is taken equal to the volume of container in which it is heard now they are saying that the decimal volume and uh, the volume of gas are taken equally to the volume of container they don't force next point uh, do you negligible inter molecular force that gases can be expanded uniformly up to infinity and so contain low density here they are telling that the intermolecular forces of gases are uniformly upon infinity and they uh, they are they contain low density now we will see one more point gases are highly compressible and their volume decreases radially as the pressure increases increase now here they are explaining about the gases which compresses which are compressing together the volumes will the volume will increase sorry the volume will decrease then the pressure the pressure will increase the pressure will increase now the gases exert pressure on the walls of containers because they collide regularly with the walls of containers here they are explaining that the pressure of a uh, wall of the container they collide they collide regularly to the walls of the containers means the pressure of the wall of the container now just think this is the wall okay now they are exerting the pressure to it to the wall of the container okay and because to collide to collide regularly to the wall of the container and this one is gases possess high diff diffusibility high diffusibility this is another point okay now next point gas molecules have high kinetic energy which depends upon the temperature of gas so which depends upon the temperature of gas now we will see on the basis of number of atoms present in the molecule the gases may be the following types monoatomic diatomic polyatomic now here what are monoatoms h g n e a r and diatomic H two N two O two F two, po polyatomic S O two O three N O two. Now we will see about thermal energies maximum for gases. Here it explains that it is maximum for gases and minimum for solids. now we will discuss about uh, molecular energy they are telling that molecular attraction uh, oh i am sorry its attraction molecular attraction is minimum in gases yes yes and maximum in solids so that's all about the ca important characteristics of gaseous state from next video we will discuss about measurable properties of gases until then bye to like share and subscribe to vishwa blue support us thank you